Hi everybody, happy Friday. Um, coming at you with the poem of the day today um, by Louise Erdrich. Um, it's an interesting poem for many reasons. Um, most specifically, um, so Louise Erdrich has um, ancestry from both Germany and um, the Chippewa Nation. Um, and so... Um, this particular poem is called Captivity, and it's it's about, um, you know, a, a European woman, a white woman, who is captured by a Native American, um, and it's an interesting um, it's an interesting sort of like examination. I don't like to use the um, expression of like Stockholm syndrome, but it kind of plays around with that kind of idea a little bit um, about not quite understanding each other and then understanding and then not quite understanding like that normal life that she gets back to af after um, after that. Um, so I'm going to just kind of jump into it. There's some really beautiful language in, in here and um, I love I love like the cyclical elements and, and the, the natural elements and, and I love all I love all of it. Um, so this is a, a really beautiful poem. I mean, it starts with, with an inscription that I'll read. So this is Captivity by Louise Erdrich. <clears throat> he, my captor, gave me a biscuit, which I put in my pocket, and not daring to eat it, buried it under a log, fearing he had put something in it to make me love him. From the narrative of the captivity of Mrs. Mary Rowlandson, who was taken prisoner by the Wampanoag when Lancaster, Massachusetts was destroyed in the year 1676. The stream was swift, and so cold I thought I would be sliced in two. But he dragged me from the flood by the ends of my hair. I had grown to recognize his face. I could distinguish it from the others. There were times I feared I understood his language, which was not human, and I knelt to pray for strength. We were pursued by God's agents or pitch devils I did not know, only that we must march. Their guns were loaded with swan shot. I could not suckle, and my child's wail put them in danger. He had a woman with teeth black and glittering. She fed the child milk of acorns. The forest closed... The light deepened. I told myself that I would starve before I took food from his hands, but I did not starve. One night, he killed a deer with a young one in her and gave me to eat of the fawn. It was so tender, the bones like the stems of flowers, that I followed where he took me. The night was thick. He cut the cord that bound me to the tree. After that, the birds mocked. Shadows gaped and roared, and the trees flung down their sharpened lashes. He did not notice God's wrath. God blasted fire from half-buried stumps. I hid my face in my dress, fearing he would burn us all, but this too passed. Rescued, I see no truth in things. My husband drives a thick wedge through the earth, still it shuts to him year after year. My child is fed of the first wheat. I lay myself to sleep on a holland-laced pillow beer. I lay to sleep. And in the dark I see myself as I was outside their circle. They knelt on deer skins, some with sticks. And he let his company in the noise until I could no longer bear the thought of how I was. I stripped a branch and struck the earth in time begging it to open, to admit me as he was, and feed me honey from the rock. I feel like I, I mis, um, misread the last stanza a little bit, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do just the last stanza again, if that's okay. You don't really have a choice if you're watching a video if it's been recorded previously. <clears throat> Excuse me. They knelt on deer skins, some with sticks, and he let his company in the noise until I could no longer bear the thought of how I was. I stripped a branch and struck the earth in time, begging it to open to admit me as he was, and feed me honey from the rock. I think that's better. Sorry about that. Thank you. Um, just, wow, what a powerful poem um, about 
human understanding about what's natural and what's right and what's wrong and and communication and miscommunication and oh wow um this 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 um oh, this poem is 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 super powerful is really super powerful and i'm um yeah i'm like i'm happy i'm humbled to to share it with you so yeah, um, this is us going into the weekend. I hope that you, um, I hope you have e an excellent weekend lined up. I hope you can take a break from the uh, abnormal everyday weekday stuff, um, and I hope you can, um, I hope you can take care of yourself and, and relax a little bit. So please try to do that. That would be good. All right. So take care of yourself. Wash your hands. Keep your distance. And um, you know, toss a mask on if you're going out. It's science, after all. Um, all right, we will. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another edition of the poem of the day. Take care, and uh, yeah, talk to you next time.